I just realized that I haven't introduced myself to the vlog and I realized that I actually haven't introduced myself to any of the vlogs but hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Shade Shade Loso my channel I talk about fashion and things that do not concern me and if you're into stuff like that please go ahead and like subscribe share comment and all the good stuff so I hope you enjoy the vlog and I will see you towards the end of the vlog yeah okay see ya My period is in seven days and I can feel the PMS, PMS. I feel like my life is over. I, do, I just started having these really like horrible thoughts and feeling shit and I'm like, oh my God, it's PMS. PMS, you're not gonna get me. And it's so dry. So what I'm gonna do, I have something to return. Let me show you what I have to return actually for this dress from H&M. So, I have a spending problem. <laughs> I think we all do, but let me not <laughs> brush this um, blanket on everyone else, but brush the blanket. Let me put you on this. I, um, I really want a, let's bring this a bit up. Yep, might be a bit wonky, but. Oh, and it's only for a little bit. I um I really want like a satin satin lace dress um and I found one I didn't show you I should have tried it on and actually showed you guys it was from Beckenbridge and it went down from like 500 to about booth delivery it was like 204 and I thought you know what that's not a bad price for a dress that I would wear non-stop it was black if I find a picture I'm gonna put it up here stunning and it was 200 pounds and I was like, my contract ends literally next month. And I said to myself, I need to have a couple of grand in my account just so that I can like live life. Someone says, oh, do you wanna do this? I'm like, yeah, I can come. 200 pounds on a dress. I'm just like, mm, I can remake the outfit. Anyway, so when I just came, it was really nice. And I was just like, oh, Shade, like, I really, it, looked, it looked perfect on me. Um, and then I was like, okay, let me try this. I found this H&M lookalike. I'll show you how it looks here on the website. To be honest, they didn't even look alike, but you know when you're just like wishful thinking, like, I just hope it looks similar. And this is the dress, it looks awful. I'm not gonna put it on for you guys, because it looks disgusting. It's like, it's just like, it has like, um, it's, uh, it's, it's just not given. Like, it's just not nice. Let me see if it's long. But it's just not given. I guess with the price range, you can tell that one was what? Let's say original price original price was like 470. And the original price of this was 60 and it went down to 37. And I thought, oh bargain. And I was like, hell no. This is going back. So I need to walk to the store, to the shop, convenience store, to return it. So I think that would help with my brain. Because when the PMS hits, oh my god, girls girl be PMSing like I would literally think my life is coming to an end winter is here basically winter is here the UK is honestly like one of the saddest places it's not you know what let me take that back the weather in the UK is it plays on my emotions essentially literally two weeks ago the vlog that I did two weeks ago it was hot no was it two weeks ago last weekend today is what the 20th 21st Mm, so about two weeks ago, but it was 36 degrees. Now it has gone down to about 18. It is cold, <laughs> freezing. So I was literally trying on an outfit for, um, I have a dinner in a couple of weeks. My best friend's taking it off for my birthday. Well, my, my birthday was last month, but you know. And I was like, I'm gonna wear this dress. And I've got these amazing boots. Oh, guys. I've got these amazing, let me show you these boots. Let, 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 let me let me take this jacket off for a second. Guys, oh. So when I was younger, right, I'm, I'm telling you a story before we get into it. When I was younger, I really wanted thigh high boots. Like, really, really wanted thigh high boots. But, like, I always, every time I bought a pair or I tried on a pair, they just would never give me the mm that I wanted. And I could never really afford, like, a boot that I really wanted, like, a, a branded one or, like, just, like, a a really good quality boot 
So obviously, I'm a grown woman now. We thank God, and I have my own money, and you know, I make good money, and God is just continuing to bless me. Hallelujah. I can afford to buy the boots that I want. So last year, I was with my boyfriend the boots I wanted, but then he got me like some other things from my wish list, which I was really happy about. And I was like, these boots are still on my list. Let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, guys, look, look, look. Let me put the light on. I think it's a bit wonky. Hold on. Hold on. It's a bit wonky. Let me put the light on. I don't know if it's gonna. <laughs> guys, look at these. Look at these, look at these, look at these boots. Oh, I'm in love. Like, I'm upset. And with this outfit in my head, anyway, I thought, let me like bring you here so you can like see like the full look. Like, can you see? With the boots, and one thing I love about this dress as well is that I can wear it throughout the whole year. So I got this for my Barca for, blah, blah, blah. I got this to wear for my birthday in Barcelona. I got this for the cooking class. And I, when I got this, I was like, I can wear this throughout the whole year. And oh, I just love. And then, and then I also have this other RJ dress that I'm thinking of wearing this weekend, but I'm going to my pastor's 60th birthday and I want to wear this originally but I don't know if this cleavage thing is <laughs> too much for the church they might kick me out <laughs> you know those aunties that literally come up to me like ooh shut up <laughs> like shut up anyway but oh can I use these boots tell me they're not good and tell me they're not fantastic I could wear them with like everything with like a mini skirt with like a baggy blue with like cooler jeans like can i yeah i can i don't know. let me show you it with this other well i haven't tried on it with this joanne dress it's called the joanne dress from rj um and i'm obsessed with that dress but when i literally was buying these boots and i was like i think that dress and these boots would go really well let me get down and show you Guys, look, look at this fit. Tell me I don't look so amazing. You tell me that I look amazing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Literally, I was like hoping, like, I was hoping that it would look nice, but I just think this is just so fabulous. Let me adjust my boobs a little bit. I would wear a, would I wear a bra with this? Yeah, I think I'll wear a bra just to give it a bit of like a, mm. This dress is the Joanne dress from, the other one um, is the Gabrielle dress from RJ. Um, if you pronounce RJ or age, I'm not too sure. But this is the Joanne dress. And I just thought this and this together is just so, And you know what's so funny um, about this dress? I so when I so RJ was doing a discount on this dress um, earlier this year. I think like in January, March, April, May, June. So they were doing a discount for one hundred and fifty pounds, um, and I was like, they didn't have my size. They only had like a size eight. But because I had an I had a, I had a other Joanne dress, but I sold it. I sold it to get this Gabrielle one. Um, I I I, bought, I took an eight. Me, eight, with a big bum and a big breast. I took an eight, and then my friend was actually took a six. My friend is like six foot two, six foot one, and she's really, really skinny, and I said, there's no way. So I returned the dress, and I was just so upset. I was like, I really, really, really would love this dress, especially for like winter, because I just thought I can wear it with like boots. I thought for like weddings, like just for things. You know when you just want, you want something to wear, you don't have to like buy an item. So this dress would be perfect. So I was really like hoping I could still get it at a good price. And then this girl on TikTok, not on TikTok, this girl on Depop, she was selling it. She had it on Depop and on eBay and she sold it for 120 or something like that. So when I got brand new, like the tag is still on, brand new, in the packet, she said she didn't want it and I was like, please give it to me. And when I thought, when I, when I still wanted these, or can I still wanted these boots, I thought this dress and these boots, Chef's kiss. That's my story. 
okay? And yeah, I just think this is such a look and I was really hesitant on getting the boots a little bit because they are a bit pricey. These retail for £700. Um, they do have like a knee high one, but I wanted thigh high. Like there's just something about a thigh high that just gives me freaking life. And yeah, £700 I was just like, oh. My body was itching and the knee, the, sorry, I'm going around in circles and the, the knee high ones are six, between 640 and 665 depending on the website. Um, but then when I saw these in the 42, I just grabbed them because I realised that 41s, I can only get 41s in like Bottegas, like, I can only get like 41s in like this, like an open shoe. Um, I even like my Renee's, they're in the bag, they need to actually get fixed. And like these, I can get like 41s or even a 40. I've got a 40 in my um, Lido version of these. But when it comes to like closed shoes that have like a pointy, I need a 42 because my feet are big. <laughs> my feet are large. And on the website when I was buying them, it said that the pair that I was buying was the last pair. Because they don't, a lot of places don't stock 42s. Like, or oh, they, they do fuck stuck, stuck. They do stock 42s, but then they'll have like two or three in stock. It's like there's loads of us that have big feet, by the way, and we have the money to pay for it. So when I saw these, I was like, I'm grabbing them. They're mine now. I'm so excited to style these. I think I'm gonna do a video coming up um, on styling thigh high leather boots, maybe, for like winter. I think that would be a really good video because there's so many ways to sell this. Or even if you had like knee high like boots. But yeah, let me just show you guys my new boots. I feel like a supermodel. Oh, the dust comes up like this, by the way, as well. I just like things that are a bit like sexy. But you can wear it like that also. This side doesn't come down. Does it? Oh, it does, kind of, but it's just, there's just not, like, the room, like, it could rip, like, oh, this part has more like a, I don't know, the way they've designed it, this part is a bit more, like, rigid, so you can be a bit careful, and I got this in a 12, and the other one is a 12 as well, this is literally, like, my favourite, favourite, favourite dress right now. This, this this raw one, I love it so much. And I'm gonna wear it, like you're gonna see me wear the hell out of it this winter, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Have you seen me wear the same outfit five times? Honey, don't judge me. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm gonna take in my boots. So I'm gonna go and make some Indomie. I know that is really bad food, but I'm craving Indomie. So I'm thinking I'm gonna eat Indomie. And then, get back to work because your girl has a nine to five. Okay, see you later. Before I go, I just wanted to show you some of the detail. I think this is wonky. Is this wonky? I wouldn't know until I actually put this on the computer. Anyway, um, I want to show you the detail. It has like a nice like croc. Is it croc? Yeah, it has like some sort of like crocky detail at the boot, I mean at the heel, which I really, really liked. And yeah, they're just like a classic silhouette. And I was also thinking as well, like on the market, on the shoe market, I don't know, maybe I'm not looking properly, to find a stiletto boot at a good price, because this is pretty expensive. Well, this is 700 pounds. Um, to find a good stiletto boot, I can't find a stiletto thigh high or even like a knee high boot. I can't find one. All of them are either like Saint Laurent, the ones, oh, this is Saint Laurent pair, I'll put them over here. Oh, they're stunning, those are like one, five, let's say, let's say one six, like one five something something. Oh, those are stunning, stunning. I love those. Oh, amen, God, won't you do it? Won't you do it? <laughs> I really, really, really like those, but like to get like a good boot, I know Zara last year did a few, but I missed out totally. I just didn't pay attention. I was buying rubbish, to be honest. Um, but they had a stiletto um, knee-high boot, and they had him in like three 
colours, I think. And if they come back this year, I'm definitely getting them because they range about 100 to about 150. Um, and they're stiletto and they do 42s in Zara, which I love. Um, but on the market right now, like if you type in like stiletto, knee high boot, it, they're all like extremely designer brands. Like I can't find all the other ones I've seen from Zara or, or right now, they're like block or they're like round toe. Um, I know it's still early because we are still in September, so we still have the next two months. So I'm hoping the next two months they come out with some, because I want another pair of stiletto, but I want maybe knee high, not thigh high, so I can have like a range of things. And I wouldn't also mind them in like another color and paint, or paint tint as well. A paint tint pair, maybe like a green or like a burgundy, I don't mind. Um, but that is definitely on my list. But yeah, on the market right now, it's just so hard. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm not, if you see, please comment down below and show me. But yeah, all the boots right now. Yeah. Where else do you buy boots from? I just wanted to show you guys my new babies. I'm going to call these, um, ooh. 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 I'm going to call her. Um, Staniqua, Staniqua Costaletto, or, mm, I don't know, Annabelle, I don't know, Annabelle just came to my head, I don't know, I'll think of a name, watch out for my video for the styling, I'm definitely going to do some videos on styling these, and yeah, I'm going to eat Indomie now, deuces guys oh my god i don't know if i have like a problem with my speech let me show you the video like do you not it do you know what it is i speak so fast and my brain doesn't how does it work the words come try and come out of my mouth let me show you a video of me talking it is so bad i've learned that everyone's love everyone's definition of proper love is so different and it took me a while to understand because like for me someone verb 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 verbally what <laughs> fuck verbally I'm tired <laughs> Do you know, not all that is verbally. I can say verbally, but for some reason, the word was so difficult to say. Oh my god, guys! Like, I really need to slow it down because it's em it's embarrassing. Do you get this? Embarrassing. <clears throat> that ain't it. That ain't. It. See, that ain't it. Anyway, my brother went to Yankee. Um, if you're Nigerian, we say Yankee. We say Jan then Yankee. Um, he went to Yankee and he brought, well, I went to see my mom the other day and I took this and I haven't, I didn't even taste it. I don't remember if I liked them or not. I didn't really get them when I was younger. I was like, are they sweets or they're not sweets? Mmm. Mmm. It's like sweets. It's like having a Haribo. I don't know if they're meant to be healthier. Mm. I literally had, um, I just ate. My boyfriend made native rice. Oh, so good. It's like, um, dried catfish. Pomo. What else did he put in there? Um, iru locust beans. Oh, it's delicious. I just had that with some turkey on the side and I'm watching YouTube watching one of my favorites G honestly obsessed well I wasn't watching this one I was watching I was watching where is she I was just watching this one this vlog one this is me <laughs> sometimes I watch myself <laughs> Anyway, let's not be that vain. Let me not show you guys how vain I am. <laughs> I was looking for new. I'm always looking for new YouTubers because British based, obviously, but it's very really hard to find like girls who have like my sense of style and body. One thing I love about G is that she's a like 
curvy fuller woman um so it's much easier to like imagine myself in the clothes whereas a lot of like influencers and youtubers it's either the, their style is just not me at all or they don't have much of a personality or they're just really skinny or like i like their style but the things that you're showing me that you bought i cannot wear it because my boobs are touching the floor do you get um but this one let me i don't know if she's good i don't know if i should like let me see if i'm gonna like her she's not really my style she's cute though it's cute she's not my style see i need i'm not i'm looking for people who have like like g um hilux legionnaire brand girl chi if they're not uk based I'm, trying, I get a little, I'm always trying to find uk girls that like have a like genuine like style not like a classic one because you know what i mean anyway bye <laughs> something has been in my eye yeah i just rinsed it but i'm just tired of washing my hands over and over again over, 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 over. i think it's gone by the grace of god I am. The work is finished. Did I even work today? Shh. Shh. <laughs> I realized I was actually looking at my, I was looking at my videos, and I was like, I'm always wearing a white tank top. Basically, I know I said this before. When my tank tops, um, you know, when when you wear a white tank top, and then you maybe you accidentally wash it with a funny color or if um a stain gets on it and i can't wear it again i just wear it as house clothes so i have like tons of white tops they're not white they're quite brown but i just wear them for inside and i was just thinking like i want some cute inside clothes like right now i'm wearing let me show you what my see the trash on the floor but i'm just wearing like pajama pants i actually saw these from my cousin <laughs> um and a tank top but yeah, I'm cooking for my boyfriend. I am making him, let me show you what I'm making him. I saw my Instagram. To become your I'm favorite gonna make 30 him. minute weeknight dinner. Poached salmon and this amazing coconut lime curry. It is so amazing, guys. I can't even explain yeah, to you. Yeah, so, so I'm so making him there's barely poached salmon curry-ish. And I'm gonna use some um, green curry paste that we've had for a while so my salmon let me show you my ingredients so we have the coconut cream i got cream instead of milk i don't know why i just felt like doing that rice spring onions garlic a lime and ginger so we're gonna make that for my man my man my man and a shallot so we're gonna make that and you guys enjoy the video please i am not a cook i am not a cook um so please don't take after me <laughs> if you try and make this recipe at home and it doesn't go well please don't come at me okay Guys, right now the food is actually not tasting nice. <laughs> what am I gonna do? 
my cooking skills have really gone in the drain recently. Like, the last thing I cooked, what did I cook? Oh, the rice, shit. Ah, oh, this is not tasting nice. I think I used the wrong milk. Guys, this is so bad. This is so bad. I could usually cook, like, I don't know my hands are not, I have to put some sugar in this. It tastes like sour. Maybe it's the curry paste. I don't even know. I don't know who to blame. <laughs> I blame myself. Because I am gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked, I'm telling you. Honestly, like, I want to. I don't want to put the salmon in it yet. I don't want to overcook. Now that's really sweet. Fuck you now. Okay. I'll make this man eat this food. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Oh god. Maybe I should put pepper in it so the flavour like kind of like diverts the pep the hotness diverts the pep the, the taste. That's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. I'm not giving this man this. Let me, let me just put this off. <laughs> that shit is nasty. It tastes like... I don't know what it tastes like, but uh-uh. If someone gave me this, I actually punched them in their face. I'm going to taste it again to make sure. Let me take some to my boyfriend and see what he says. He's a weirdo. He likes it. Mm. I'm gonna put a scotch bonnet. I feel like when you put like pepper in food, it kind of diverts the taste sometimes. Um, if something doesn't taste nice, put a scotch bonnet or just put like chili flakes. So I'm gonna put not a whole one, like almost half. That's not a big pot. Focus. This is so funny. Oh my god. I used to cook all the time. You know what's so funny? I used to cook all the time. It was literally like my safe place. I loved cooking and then I, I stopped out of laziness. My food was always just chef's kiss. I'm not going to show you guys what I'm doing anymore. I'm just going to put the salmon in here. Actually, I'll show you guys. I'll show you in there. <laughs> when it's cooked, I mean, I'm going to cover it so it can cook. So this is the food, guys. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's broken. Oh, my God. I feel like I always come here looking like a rag on my fin. Anyway, today's Friday. Yay! It still confuses me every day that we only get two weeks, two weeks, two days out of seven days to ourselves. But anyway, this morning I went to the gym. Today's Friday. I last spoke to you on Wednesday when I'll show you guys my boots. Do you know what's upsetting me? Quick one. I'm 42. I've said that before. My feet are big. And farfetch have them but only in the 41 and they're doing 30 percent off 30 percent off and i'm just like why do you have a 42 they don't have a 42 they only have a 41 and i was like i can't even like i don't want to like buy a 41 and my feet are going to be hurting my whole face is dry i, I had a shower so we just pause one second <laughs> had a shower but i didn't cream my face so i just used some acne cream but I'm gonna like put some cream on it in a second because I wanna go and run an errand. But anyway, um, Farfetch, and I know Farfetch don't have their own stock, it's stock from other places, but I'm just like, why is it only Netta Porter that has 42 in that boot? 
really upset because I could have saved, I would be saving about 200 because with the discount, like 150, with the discount, they're like 140 something. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I'm really, really pissed off about that. Please excuse my outfit. I literally threw on my boyfriend's jeans um, and I'm wearing my gym trainers. But this is the top I came, let me show you here. This is the top I came to pick up from Zara, but I am, um, maybe I'm not wearing the right fit, but I'm just not really in love with it. I don't like, I don't really like the lace. I don't know, there's something, maybe I'm not wearing the right bra. Let me, cause I know these, what I'm wearing does not really work. But it's just meant to be like a lace body. But there's something about it that is just not giving. But again, I don't know if it's because I look like yeah. I have like 10 kids and I haven't showered in like 10 days. Can you see my underwear there? But yeah, it's just a lace top. But I'm just, there's something about it that's just not. I feel like when I have buy items now, I want to be like obsessed. And I'm not obsessed with it. This is how the lace. I don't know. That's why this lace is not giving me. Yeah, I'm not in love. I'm gonna return this. I think there. I have seen some other lace bodies. They're a bit more pricey, but I think I will just splurge on something that I'm obsessed with because this is giving like dirty lace. I don't know. Say she get it from her mama I'ma say you fuck her right Body big is polite Don't be in a humble type Tell me is you down Cause I'm trying to go good tonight Hoes and hoochies left and right I just wanna live in a fan I just shot a video for you guys My makeup looks a bit weird Hold on one second I need to change the setting on this I just shot a video Well, I do not know yeah this camera, I still haven't figured out how to do the settings. And I realized that I really lined my lips. They're really giving a brown liner, but that's okay. Yeah, I just shot a video for you guys and I hope you guys like it because I haven't done a video in a while and I need to work on my Zoom, okay? Um, what's that? I was getting eczema not long ago on my neck, but I think it's cleared up. I think it's cleared up, but I don't know if that's a dark. Let me check the mirror. I think I'm just seeing things. It looks a bit dark in the thing. Um, yeah, when I was to guys, I think yesterday when I went to H&M and stuff and I was having a bad day, but I realized I wasn't having a bad day. I realized I was on my period, so I was, I'm, my period is coming. I'm not on my period yet. So I'm just like flustered and irritated. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like real irritated. Um, but yeah, I'm hungry. I wake up at like seven to get this video done. It is now, 10 30 i believe um so i think i'm gonna start editing that video and then i'm gonna get ready to go to my pastor's party i'm not gonna take you guys because it's church people well i don't go to church anymore i've been to church in a while but it's the pastor i grew, I grew up with um, but if I want to record anything i would just put it on my iphone i'll just use my iphone to record this is my look um I'm wearing this Zara jacket. Um, Zara jacket, um, Zara flats, Zara dress. And then I'm taking this bag. Character today is rich housewife. I am rich, I'm very wealthy. Um, claiming that. This is my look. Because I was like, I don't know what to wear. I haven't, to me, I haven't been to church in a long time. So I don't know what things you wear to church. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is my fit it's super cute i really like it i need more flats i need more flats even though it's gonna get cold soon but i just i didn't know how much i loved flats until this summer but yeah this is my look make up by me obviously Yeah, then 
lên đừng nôn chứ Em bởi mời bút năm anh Changing actually, we're doing this. I changed it to this color. This color is so cute. So instead of doing this, we're gonna do this pinkish. Yay! How cute on my nails. I know. The look. I said this duck is okay. Oh, you wanna? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the fermented pineapple soda. She thinks she's back in Somalia. She's from Somalia. Somalia. Nime, are you from Somali? Yeah. Is that why you're doing that noise? She asked me to. It's been a somewhere else um, that's not home so I'm just wearing this blazer this um, dress from Zara it's really really old and my cowboy boots and my trucker hat because I couldn't go to do the front of my hair today no you just can't be bothered um yeah that's what I'm wearing so I'm just gonna work today um, I have a vlog to finish well this is gonna be part of the vlog I need to finish and then I need to record tomorrow, so I'm gonna do some homework of what I wanna talk about tomorrow. And yeah, when I get there, I would horror at you guys. It's a really cute hotel um, in Canary Wharf. Okay, deuces. Oh my guys, I know I keep talking about my nails, but how sick are my nails? Fucking sick. It's just like the water.
I just realised that in the intro, um, because basically it's the same day I've introed. Anyway, I have lipstick on my teeth. I was like, darn it, but I'm not doing that again. I'm not redoing it. I was like, people get lipstick on their teeth, it's normal. Um, but this is the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't really do much. Normally my days don't really, my weeks don't really consist of much because I work nine to five and then after I'm tired, but yeah, I don't really like do much. It's just me like blab it, blabbing on the camera talking about stuff. Um, well, today's Friday, I might go out. My friend invited me to a party, but I can't remember how many bothered. I don't know if I can be bothered, I'm not like I'm in two minds. Um, but yeah, today was girl that I do. Yeah, I went to that place. Um, I like working there. I used to go there quite often last year. So I think I'm gonna make that like a place for me to go and work. And what else? Like there's this whole topic of, um, I'm, and I'm really, really, really happy for this topic. And I feel like I've spoken about this briefly on my channel about like, I would I don't want to say black girls in particular but I feel like and just girls in general I feel like there is such a basic sense of dressing and if you do go outside of that box you are then perceived as weird um you're on crack um <laughs> you're on some sort of something and I feel like why are people not able to express themselves without people questioning their mental state? Like, even if the mental state is not in the right place, people are entitled to express themselves in fashion or in makeup however they want to. Um, I feel like, especially within the black community, like, I remember, like, my cousins used to, like, take the piss out of me because I've always dressed quite um, eclectic, I would say, and maybe, like, I wouldn't say strange, but my... My, the pieces that I would normally put together would, would always be a question mark. Those who get it would get it, and those who don't get it, and the ones who just flock and follow what the norm says would always like question. Um, and then it did make me um, quite shy in expressing myself, or I would be like, oh, let me just go with the like, status quo. Now I'm just like, I'm 30, bro. I'm a big woman like I cannot be living my life questioning how I'm going to be perceived by my fashion sense by people that I don't give a fuck about and even if I do give a fuck about you it's none of your business do you get what I'm saying um yeah and it's just like the whole um Mikai said I just said it on my I literally said it on my Instagram today and Mikai spoke of that spoke about it as well about the whole um just the whole topic of black girls dressing a certain way and it's just oh my god and JT said it as well like do you want it's either these are the aesthetics and I'm blabbing on but these are the aesthetics it's black girl that is curly wig 20 inch bad bitch you wear tight bodycon dresses you wear a pretty little thing or you wear like the Rick Owens shark the Givenchy shark boots and you're just a basic bad bitch and I, and I love that aesthetic it's great it's nice and then you have the other aesthetic which is you want to be the 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 rich look like you want to dress like you're rich but you're not rich sorry no shade but it's like that whole clean girl aesthetic and I call it I call it a Persian white woman aesthetic that's what the that's the and I like that aesthetic but it's basic to me. It's like, I feel like I love when people express themselves. And those are the two aesthetics that I tend to come across a lot. Um, and when I do see girls that, most of the girls that I do try and follow are girls who are similar like me. Like you just wear however you feel that day. If you want to wear an orange top and green trouser, that is how you feel that day. There's a video that I made um, on um, top fashion girls. Um, I'm gonna try and put a card. Cause I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many times you, put, you can put a card in a video. Um, and the girls that I all mentioned are women who are unapologetically themselves in their fashion sense, and I would say in their personality as well. And those are the people that I am drawn to. Um, I just wish that it wasn't so. What's the word like? mythical for people to ex black girls to express themselves without it being like oh she looks weird or why are you wearing that or why are you wearing baggy cargo pants or why are you wearing a hat like today I'm wearing you can see I'm wearing a Von Dutch hat with um a polka dot dress and I wore cowboy boots and somebody commented on my twitter on my inst on my tiktok 
um, no to the no to the hat and for the shoes I should wear sandal heels and I was like did I ask you? And if you're watching this, sorry about that, did I even ask you? No. Like, that's what I felt like wearing today. Let me wear it. Like, anyway, I just wanted to blab that on. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is the end of the vlog. I hope you loved, liked, comment below what you would like to see. Um, yeah, and have an amazing, today's Friday, have an amazing weekend. Be blessed, be safe, and wear what you want. Okay.